are you stuck in? And he head over here now. Okay, ow. His head is down inside there. Eventually we got this iguana out that was stuck on the side of the engine and he is covered, he seems to be covered in grease because every time I rub him, he comes out of my hand and fairly large individual except um, his neck is a little short which is weird I'm we'll holding him sideways mm -hmm. Darker color than usual which could be from the stress from being stuck inside here since this morning I believe um, yeah, he is loaded with ticks there. Uh, five on the dewlap and more along the legs and so forth. We're gonna have him um, clean up a bit and have the ticks removed and release him as soon as possible. See that? Mm hmm. Well, he was stuck in the engine for a while. Yeah. She, sorry. He keeps it, he. <laughs> To minimize stress. <coughs> ah, yes, the chorus of my course. Oh, that's blood. It's four. All those small ones. Yep, that's about three dozen ticks right there. Okay, yeah. so after the grease has been cleaned off, you see a huge difference. You can make all the colors on the legs a little bit better now. Mm -hmm. But she has a natural dark color and she is stressed as well, so she'll eventually get back a little lighter than this. We don't know her natural color, but as you can tell, it's kind of gray brownish. A little bit of green in there too. She's kind of like a uh, camouflage. Mm -hmm. So, gonna be released shortly. Here we are at the Wild Wildlife Orphanage and Rehab Center in Diego Martin with the same iguana that we got out of the car engine. And uh, the best bet this iguana has for her survival as well as her offspring is to lay the eggs somewhere that they would be safe and that she would be safe. What we're worried about is that if we release her somewhere that she's gonna end up in someone's yard again and there might be dogs that may attack her so then she and the offspring would be lost. So we'd have her here and she'd be able to lay her eggs safely then she would be released somewhere and her eggs would be incubated and then the babies would be released afterwards. The reason for this is that because she is so high stressed we're worried about her current state especially with the babies so that's why we're taking this course of action. Right. And as you can see, this is a fairly big cage. It's actually an aviary for birds. But currently there are no birds inside here. So the cigona is going to be the occupant for now. So I'll set her down on the ground right here. She got the energy. Yeah. And so this was our concern really. She is stressed out from being trapped in that vehicle whole day. And we are worried about that she might be able to she may not be able to defend herself and so on. 